sales and receivables setup is a key area that must first be set up for use with Business Central. Today, I'll show you the most common and important fields in the sales and receivables setup page. To get there, we'll need to search for it in our search area up here, like normal. So we have here the sales and receivables setup page, and under the general tab, there are a number of fields that are worthy of our attention. The first is the discount posting field, which allows us to specify the type of sales discounts we want Business Central to post separately based on the following options. No discounts, where discounts are subtracted from the sales amount before posting as opposed to being posted separately. Invoice discounts, where the invoice discount and invoice amount are posted at the same time. This is posted based on what GL code you've specified in the general posting setup under the sales line discount account field. The line discounts, where the line discount and the invoice amount are posted at the same time, again, to the this is posted to the GL that you've specified in the general posting setup. And finally, all discounts, where the invoice and line discounts and the invoice amount are all posted simultaneously to the GL code that you've specified in the general posting set setup. The credit warnings, this can be set to warn users that a customer has an overdue balance, a cre uh, are exceeding their credit limit, or to warn on both, or to warn on neither. It's important to note that these will act as warnings and not actively prevent a user from raising and invoicing a customer after receiving the warning. The stockout warning, which is instructs Business Central to let us know that the quantity specified on a sales document will bring the quantity below zero. We have our invoice rounding, which when enabled, invoices will be rounded. The figures on invoices will be rounded. The create item from description field. This instructs Business Central to suggest the creation of a new item when no item, ex no existing item matches the number or the description that you've entered into a sales line. There's an application between currencies field. This is used to specify if users may apply customer payments in different currencies. The options available here are none, where all entries involved are in a single application must be in the same currency. EMU, where entries can be applied in euros and one of the previous national currencies to one another. This is for EMU countries and regions to each other. All which allows us to apply entries in different currencies to one another. After this, we have our default posting date, which specifies whether Business Central should use the wo our work date or no date as our default posting date. When selected as no date, we'll specify that manually. We have here as well the final field of the general tab, the copy line description to GL entry. This enables us to, when using a line of type GL account on the sales document, copy the description that we specified on that sales line to the posted general ledger entries. Underneath the general tab, we have our dimensions tab, which allows us to configure the dimensions that will be used for our customer groups and salespersons in our sales analysis reports. Underneath this, we have our number series fast tab. We use this tab to specify the number series for specific documents that are used in the sales module in Business Central. And finally, we'll be looking at the archiving tab, which is used to specify which document types in the sales module will be archived. 